Well, here we go. February 7th, 2016. Starting out the new year. Look at this. We are emptying out the garage. We got Warlords in process now. Having a devil of a time with it. Uh, Brett talked me into building a Galaga as if I didn't have enough going on here. My next project was going to be Red Baron, but thanks to Brett, we have Galaga. But eh, either one's great. Uh, we still got our death race to go. We got our project eliminator we're working on here. That's a test bed right there. Uh, the Sega monitor in there, a G08. And we got a bunch of boxes here. This is our Eliminator stash. Everything to do with Eliminator Island is here. So, and there is Maggie. Maggie Susie. We are going out to the arcade here. And we're going to check out what's going on out here. Coming out, baby. All right. Let's see what's uh, where we're at here. Give you a status here. It's fairly early. Maggie, is she gonna come in? No, no, she hates the arcade. No, doesn't want anything to do with it. All right, so here we got the arcade here. We got a few new additions here. We got Rip Off, Operation Wolf, taking the moving the uh, coin changer into the middle of the room, and we got our Space War. Oh, that was such an awesome game in its day. Awesome game. Looking forward to our next party. Really, I'm looking forward more to, uh, you know, a couple friends dropping over every once in a while. Maybe have a game or two to work on. Something that, uh, maybe something that we have in common with each other as far as arcade games. I grew up with a bunch of friends back in the 80s. Seems like they've just dropped all interest whatsoever in arcade games. They just, I don't know, they consider themselves the original gamers, but they don't game. So, I don't know. It'd be nice once in a while if they'd maybe drop over for a beer or an occasional uh, working on an arcade game, offering to help work on one or something. Uh, there's no interest there at all. So, Lima, Ohio, dead zone. I would probably say that this is all hobbyist, but I am like the only action in town when it comes to arcade games, sadly enough, because it really helps to have some kind of a base of support, you know? It really does. So, bounce a few ideas off of people. The closest people I've got to me are like 20 miles or further away. Oh, I got Popeye's having a problem there. Probably a, mm, I'm not sure. But uh, just kind of perusing around the arcade here. Showing a, basically an arcade video. February added a uh, the daylight uh, fluorescent bulbs to Pac-Man really changed it a lot looks a lot brighter a lot newer half the problem with running an arcade is keeping up with the problems that's where it helps to have more than one person actually being involved in it, you know. So. But anyhow, here's to forming new friendships. And uh, hopefully some new friends that are interested in the slightest bit in pinball. and arcade games, that's kind of where we all grew up in. If you were bored anywhere around the 60s or 70s. This is what we grew up in. This is part of us. You don't just throw it away. For those of us that partake through in the bar here, 
This is kind of the situation where we're in right now. This is, like I said, February. Just finished Christmas. Haven't even put the Christmas tree away yet, for God's sake. I've been rekeying a lot of the cabinets here. So we've got a lot of key fobs. I plan on putting a cash box somewhere, probably around in here. But uh, anyhow, that's where we're at, folks. And if you're anywhere in the general area, definitely encourage you to stop in. Just drop in. If you ever want to work on a game or something, bring one over. We'll drop it in here to the uh, arcade here. Always interested in getting stumped by a new problem. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Until the next video, game on.